Hey everyone, this is Danielle playing some Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we completed Shavaria but didn't actually leave it, so we're going to do that now. Pretty easy. As you'll recall, we got 10 moons, which was the requisite number of moons. <laughs> we now have 85. So, the Seaside Kingdom, uh, which is bubbling, the place we'll be going to next, works very similarly to Shiveria. There are four little story moons, and you have to do all of them in any order to unlock the final story moon. Uh, we might not do the final story moon because, again, it's capture based and that'll mean not being able to crouch. Uh, but we'll have a look around and see what, what's what. Um, Bell Blaine also is mostly underwater, so we may be avoiding that in order to avoid cancelling out the crouching by being underwater. So it's a combination of Lake Lamode and, uh, Shivaria in a way. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I had to ground pound jump, so I've been doing that for a while. Uh, yeah, let's read up. Oh yeah, the water in this area is carbonated, which is kind of cute. Um, you can, if you look at the water closely, it actually looks a bit different to the water in the rest of the game because it is carbonated. There are a lot of neat little details in the game like that. Uh, so yeah, this is Bub Lane. Uh, what you're supposed to do, story-wise, is go to those four... Uh, I'll walk up to one of them so we can see Kulma closely. See, that guy's stealing the sparkle water, basically, and that's the boss we'll be fighting, or maybe not be fighting, but the boss we're supposed to fight as part of the story. And what you meant to do is break open these four fountains, which have been plugged up, Bowsette's put these chain things on here. You break them open by going to the story moons nearby, there's one up there for example, and once you've broken all of them open you can fight the boss. But when you actually use, to do the fight you actually have to capture one of these squid, squid kids here. They're actually called Gushins, but you know, they're basically, they're basically just squids, so, woo me. <laughs> also, Bemo. Also, I'm taking a lot more damage than I should be. Uh, that's not a big deal, because this particular kingdom has a really, really easy life up part, which is the one in this chest here. You can get that just like that. Easy peasy. So, yeah, we can, we can become a squid. Basically, this is a reference to Sunshine, because this is the turbo nozzle, basically, and this is sort of the rocket nozzle, sort of the hover nozzle. And... Yeah, it's that sort of thing going on. Um, but it's also a squid, so... Wee me! <laughs> um, you can run out of water while you're flying around in the air. Uh, if we stay up for a little while, you can see that. It lasts a decently long time, but yeah, it runs out until you touch water again. So you lose the ability to keep flying after a while, basically. Um, but yeah, when we're captured like this, crouching doesn't do anything. Also, when we're swimming, crouching doesn't do anything, so we're going to try to do stuff over here on the seaside, if we can. Uh, we can't do the beach volleyball here yet, um, because that only comes back after you've done the story. We could do the story. Uh, we'll see if we will or not. Uh, there's, there's actually four of these potted plants in this area um, to be planted. Got to find the seeds all around the area to do that. Uh, those are the only ones you can actually speed up. If you get one of those uh, inklings from earlier and squirt the flowers, they actually grow faster, which is kind of handy. Uh, we could do that hint art, but we have to go back to Metro to do it. Uh, I'd like to see if we can do this without a gushion. I know it's possible to do normally, but I don't know if it can be done while crouching. What you're supposed to do, basically, is get the Gushin, fly up, and then across to reach that moon up there. Uh, I know that it's possible to climb up here if you are just walking normally. So, let's see if we can do it while we're crouching. Uh, yeah, it's totally doable. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a, there's a Cat Mario down there if you wanted to, you know, reference it different game for some reason 
and yeah, this this is totally doable. Just gonna mess it up a bit because reasons. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, let's throw one more kick. There we go. It's called Ride the Jet Stream because you're supposed to use a gushin. Uh, it's kind of like the stars in Super Mario 64, which are called Through the Jet Stream. That you're supposed to use the metal cap, but you can do it without the metal cap. So it's kind of interesting that the same thing happened again in this game. It may have been a deliberate reference to 64, since this game does have a lot of those references to 64 in it. <laughs> uh, I believe... is it here? No, it's further along. Uh, here's, here's the water. We can take a quick look and see how it's carbonated. Uh, you can see there's these little bubbles going up everywhere. That's the carbonation effect. That doesn't apply to the water anywhere else in the game, just here. And it looks really nice. Um, there's a bunch of Goombas here. Uh, I think the Embedder's already up there? I'm not sure. Uh, what you're supposed to do is basically just go up this canyon, avoiding the rocks, in order to reach one of the story moons. Pretty straightforward. Uh, uh, you can get up there much faster if you take a gush into this spot, and then just fly up that way. Um, but of course, using a gushin would be cheating because of the way captures work and prevent it from crouching. <laughs> However, you do actually need to capture these Goombas in order to do one of the moons over there. I'm not sure if it's un unlocked yet. I guess we'll see. Uh, ba -ba -ba -da -ba. Forget how many you need. I'm just going to grab all five just in case. <laughs> so yeah, um, when you've got Goombas, I don't no, I've shown this. I think I did once in Traveria, but I didn't really explain it. Yeah, if you just jump on another Goomba, you make a tower like this, and it's hilarious. And you can just build enormous towers of Goombas, and then accidentally do that. I didn't mean to uncapture that, I was just trying to do a high jump. Yeah, Goombet is up there. So, Goombet wants to see a cute Goomba to flirt with and then give a power moon to. So, you have to capture a Goomba and get them into her eye line. Otherwise, she just runs away because she's terrified of Mario. Which is understandable. <laughs> Considering how Mario usually treats Goombas. Um, there's a couple of uh, the purple coins here, a little shells, which is cute. I haven't really shown it much in this run, but the purple coins are different in every kingdom, and it's, it's a really cute detail. Uh, if you look at um, the map, actually, it says... There's a currency section here which says shell shaped. It's pretty cute. Um, yeah, it says a different thing if you're not kidding you're in. And all these other all these other details over here are pretty cool too. Um, there's all this charming information about stuff in the kingdom. Uh, it gives you a few hints, but it's also just, you know, some charming little world building, which I like. Uh, so this is one of the story moons, which opens up uh, that one there, that one of the four fountains. I will be getting this one. Ba -da -bum, ba -da -ba -ba -da. I may not do all four of them. We'll see how we go. So, you open up these four seals. Once you grab the moon, it lets you press that button, which is what actually opens the seal. Uh, and you can do them in any order, just like the four rooms in um, Chevaria. It's very similar. And yeah, the cork bops him on the head, and it gets, he gets really annoyed, and I believe that's when he starts attacking? Yeah, so the middle island is a little bit more dangerous now, because he's squirting those out. Um, to actually fight him, you do have to do all four of them. For some reason, the fountains don't get to full power until you've defeated him, so you can't get up there until you've done the fight, which is weird, because you think fighting him wouldn't affect how powerful the fountains are, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'd like to do more stuff above the water, if possible. Uh, let's head around this way and see if there's anything over here. Um, Bubbling has some really nice music, but you don't hear it until you've saved Bubbling. Uh, it's nice, though. Uh, yeah, around here you've got some hidden stuff, sort of, sort of hidden. Uh, there's a couple of these 
spiky thingies. These are all over um, this area for some reason. Lots of these spiky things. Uh, then there's a bunch of my Goombas just to be annoying and hit me once. Very, very frustrating. Um, I think there's a moon up here. I think this spot. If I can ground pound it directly, that'd be great. I'm having a little bit of trouble here. <laughs> oh my goodness. There we go. Yeah, see, there's a moon. Yeah! Uh, I lost my life up heart, but it's not really a big deal. Um, that's one of the seeds you have to get to plant on the other side of the area. Some of them are underwater, this one's not. Uh, when you're carrying a seed, holding crouch doesn't do anything, so... Um, it is often difficult to get around while holding a seed. You, I believe, can't wall kick? Oh no, you can wall kick. Okay, you lose some of your abilities. You can't throw a cappy. Uh, you can't long jump, I believe. Well, yeah, obviously you can't long jump. I'm, I'm pressing the buttons I would need to press to long jump and nothing's happening. Yeah, you can't long jump. You can't, um, I think side, side flips do work. So there is a way to side flip with these restrictions, interestingly enough. But yeah, you lose basically throwing cappy and bouncing off her, which means you can't climb up to really high places very easily. And you can't grab ledges either, I believe. Uh, so I can demonstrate that. Nope. <laughs> uh, these umbrellas are very bouncy, by the way. So yeah, what you're supposed to do is just, you know, plants. Yeah, you got to bounce off the seed, basically, in order to pick it up. There. Because you can't pick it up while rolling, which is what you get when you press Y. Uh, I don't know if that'll grow by itself, or if we actually have to water it with a gushin. Uh, I think some of them grow by themselves. Um, in every other kingdom you basically just have to wait. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> but here you can in fact go get a gushin and get, it, get them to help you water the plants. So I might do that. Wimmy. Uh, there's a little little pond of water here you can use to fill up. Doesn't matter how much water it is, any amount will fill you to full. And yeah, this would take a while to grow otherwise because it's very tall. Um, once you're out of water, you just have to wiggle along on the ground. There we go. To get some water. Water, 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 water. It's just going kind of slowly. Uh, I can maybe speed it up a bit. Wimmy. Yeah. Uh, getting a moon actually fills up your gush and water, which is kind of an exploit you can use in certain ways. I probably won't be showing that, but it is a thing you can do. Uh, this rocket flower here. We've seen some of these before, they cancel out the fact that they're crouching and just make us run very fast. Which is good, because it means we can get that moon without any trouble. Uh, that's up to 5 out of 10? Yeah, good progress, good progress. Yeah! Uh, over here we've got a bunch more of these spinning rock things. I don't know why there's so many of these in the Seaside Kingdom. I wanted to mention in... Doesn't look like it. They're not mentioned in the map in like the tourism guide or anything, so I guess they're just there. Uh, there's, a, there's a big underwater area over down that hole there that we have to swim through. And I think you have to use a cheap ship as well, which makes it like doubly cancelling out the challenge, so we might not do that. Uh, um, let's see. I wonder if you can do that one without a gush. I think you can't, but let's go have a look. So this part over here is very sunshine inspired. There's this goop basically covering the hot spring and you're meant to clean it up using the gushins, which is very, very sunshine. Uh, I believe you can't reach the moon without doing that. Yeah, the, the moon is actually underwater. 
below the surface of the hot spring. So to get to it, you definitely have to clean up this stuff. Oh. Ow. Uh, I believe that this purple Dory over here does have a moon. Yes. So yeah, there's moons under the Dory. Basically the same as the one in um, Lake Lamode, although it's the purple rather than the yellow. I think it was blue in my foot, actually. Ba -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Um, if you come over here where these spiky fellows are, there is a moon hiding here. The only indication it's there is the rumble, so it's very sneaky. You can see Cappy is astonished that we managed to find it, which is pretty cute. Uh, we need three more moons and we're done here. Uh, let's see, let's try again for that Goomba one. The Goombas will have respawned. Yeah. So yeah, basically what you have to do is get these Goombas and Stack them up so that they're tall enough that Goombat will be able to see them. Like that. Five, yeah. As mentioned, if you do a little shake of the controller, that's a high jump. If you just press B, it's a smaller jump. Here it doesn't matter because we can't jump up anyway, even with a high jump. Hey, Goombat. And yeah, she just falls in love instantly and gives you a moon. I assume it's because she saw Cappy, who is a cute girl. <laughs> and she's scared off when she sees Mario's mustache. <laughs> I wonder if you can reach Captain Toad without a gusher. Uh, Captain Toad is up here. Uh, on that ledge up there. I don't think we can get that high without using a Gushin to get up there. So let's give it a shot. Definitely not. Yeah, that's not doable. Uh, okay, two more moons, two more moons. I believe there's one I can get. I believe... Hang on, there's pipe over there. What's in the pipe? I don't remember. Let's have a look. Oh, this is just... This is a rumble challenge, basically. You have to find the spot where the... Where the floor is rumbling. And... Then you pound the ground and some stuff comes out. And sometimes... Sometimes... One of these spots is in there, basically. Uh, I think it's here. Obviously you can't say what I'm doing because it's all rumble and that's not part of the video. There we go. Yeah! There's another one of those in Tostarina, but we didn't actually do it. Uh, okay, one more moon. Uh, let's see, I believe we can get this chest here. Uh, if you just dive down here, there's a little hidden cave here has these four chests. Uh, you have to open them in a certain order. See if I can get a first try. I can. I got it first try. Nice. Uh, if you get it wrong, it tells you what the order is, and then the chests turn into monsters, and you have to dodge them a little bit, basically. Anyway, that's ten moons. And that means this kingdom is complete. Um, although it hasn't been saved, so, you know... Sucks to live here, I guess. <laughs> oh. uh, we're going to move on to the next one, which is the Luncheon Kingdom, I believe. And that'll be this video. Up, 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 up.
95 moons. Yep, Luncheon Kingdom. This one's kind of charming because it's both the lava world and the food world at the same time. It's made of lava, but also food. <laughs> uh, it's also one of the longer ones, so I will be cutting off this video once we arrive. And making a separate one for the next bit. Ah, uh, oh yes, the rumble is really good. Um, you get a little bit of a rumble from the Odyssey's engines as it's flying by, basically. It, it, the effect is really good because, yeah, it's, it's great. Uh, yeah, I know about long jumping, Cappy. Uh, I've been doing a lot of long jumping. <laughs> uh, yeah, Stupendous Stew is what they're about, and that's of course what Bowsette's going to steal. Or has already stolen, I'm not sure. Um, but we'll be cutting off and doing this next video, of course. I believe we need 20 moons again here. It might just be 16. Uh, we'll see when we get there, which will be shortly. Uh, 18, okay, so I was half right. <laughs> All right, um, so that's that for this video. Next time we'll be doing Mount Bolbono.